Good freaking morning, it's official, my dudes. We're doing it live. Holy crap, I still have so many souls left. Um, hmm. Probably should do something about that, huh? Oh, fuck it. Fuck it, I'll put them all on the line. I'll probably lose them, I'll put them all on the line. Alright, here we go, dudes. Point of no return. Once I step through that breach... Who fucking knows what's going to happen? I don't know what the hell the final boss is. I don't know what is going to happen with it. I don't know... If I'll see the architect again. Oh, he's still pulsating. That's weird. I guess he's not necessarily dead. He's just patched. Outside space and time. What the fucking fuck? I feel like there should be sound. What the hell? Frog dude, you're here. Oh, fuck. Jesus. Oh my fucking god. Oh, it just saved me right here. We're just we're just doing this forever now. Okay, it's just an infinite loop. Ah. Uh, Shit, dude, everything's radioactive. How do you even dodge him? Okay. Okay. For real, how do you dodge anything this guy is doing? Okay, so the product spawns only like a third of his health bar. That's not bad, I guess. I wonder if that means that I can kill the big guy before I kill the prodigal spawn, because the prodigal spawn seems to fight me as just a regular dude. Oh, 
Fuck. I take back what I said about the last boss. This one is fucking unfair. Knocks me down, and I literally just—I can't even dodge. Oh, fucking moon presence! Eat your arm out. This guy is bullshit. I'm just constantly irradiated. go for this guy. Prodigal spawn isn't really all that big a threat. That ain't right. Shit. All this fucking radiation damage, man. radiation suit on. Helps a little bit. Please resist the radiation enough where I'm not constantly losing health. guy, however, is a real pain in the ass. And now I'm on fire. Yeah, got my suit on.
worst part is this suit is the best radiation protection I have, and even that's not really blocking all of it. Oh, damn it. a new thing and unfortunately that new thing takes a lot of time. Trying to get rid of this guy. Looks like it'd be just me and the big dude. I feel like now that I have this EVA suit on, I can resist the radiation a bit and have a better chance, but trying to dodge both of you is very difficult. So often he kind of wises up to it and I can't hit him. Oh, he did. Okay.
desperate. You're getting desperate. Desperation will not get you a kill. Calm fool collected. No! Fuck. I went for the heal. I should have dodged first. It's doable. He has a bullshit amount of health, though. He's not so bad anymore. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Bad start, bad start. slowly, taking three hits with your spells. Saw what he was gonna do next. I get so obsessed with just getting damage in. That's the dumbest way to take on a boss. Especially a boss that you know hurts this bad if he gets a single hit on you. I'm not dead, I'm not dead. Fuck, I'm dead.
the spawn being on that side, so I can actually see what that guy's doing at the same time. Stop shooting me. Or see the other guy come on on too. I can destroy them, I think. Of course. Couldn't buy time to heal. onto them. I don't know if it actually destroys them or not. I don't really have a decent white range weapon to try. Boy. This ain't going well for me. She would stay dead here every time I killed you. I don't like being able to 
like not being able to see what the boss is doing at the same time that I fight you. You're not even the biggest threat here. How does that make you feel? seem to be helping me much either. That was pro- Fuck! <laughs> Am I God? Holy shit! <laughs> oh my... I was just getting desperate, so I was trying different abilities that I had access to, and I just noticed that my staff had three spells now, so I just was like, fuck it, try the third spell, and... Apparently, it's a sort of dot, like it's a damage over time thing, but... Because he was so massive with so many hitboxes, it just kept hitting him over and over again. It fucking melted him. <laughs> oh my god. Ugh. I'm not even sorry. Holy shit. <laughs> 
I swear to God, I didn't know it did that. Otherwise, I would have been using that from the very freaking beginning. That was amazing. And I guess, uh, as abrupt as that ending is, you know, they kind of leave it all up to speculation as to how that transpired or how that followed up. From what I understand is, because I, I did have the Heir of Chaos, much like the Prodigal Spawn did, I was the one who kind of won that fight. So I absorbed the Sentient, I think I said his name was, and more or less just became a cosmic being in and of myself. I'm not entirely certain. I just know that I won. In perhaps the most satisfying way I could have possibly done it, only for the fact that I thought I was fucked. <laughs> Thank you, Tiny Build Games. Thank you. Would I play Hellpoint 2? Probably. I... I'm sure they would be able to take what they learned from this and kind of tighten things up a little bit. I mean, obviously some of the boss fights were pretty freaking intense in terms of, like, the very first boss, for example. Like, it took me forever to actually get gear to fight him. But once I had gear, what do you know? He was stupid easy. But also by the time I was kind of better at dodging his shit. Um, some of the uh, animations for weapons are kind of simplistic. Like, there's only two swings. I, which I guess Dark Souls kind of does too, but I feel like the, the movements are kind of more fluid, so it's a bit less noticeable. Whereas with the weapons in this game, it's... You either you swing twice with the regular attack, or you do one big heavy attack. The ability, the weapon abilities unlocking through use and familiarity is kind of a cool touch. I like that. I love that final spell with the staff. Please don't patch that. <laughs> um. I don't really know what else to really say. I mean, in terms of a Souls-like, it's not necessarily the best I've ever played, but there have definitely been worse. Like, as I said, if there was a Hellpoint 2, which I'm assuming where they would, like, kind of improve what they already had, I would absolutely give it a shot. But... Um... Let's see. I gotta, I gotta think of more critiques. I mean, I've already given a couple of critiques. I don't think I really need to give more than that, but, uh... <sighs> How difficult it is to see was kind of an issue. Like, the flashlight was absolutely necessary, because even with it at set up to maximum brightness, I couldn't see in some corridors. Like, I understand you're trying to create a kind of atmosphere that would be... present in a sort of a malfunctioning space station, but at the same time you need to be able to see, or at the very least make the flashlight standard, like give it to us from the start. Pretty sure my guy's still just kind of floating out in space, just idling while I'm in this cut in these credits. But um this lack of music is kinda eerie. This game didn't really have a whole lot of music, did it? You just don't really uh, pay attention to that. I guess all in all, if I were to rate this thing and anything out of a 10, I'd say 6.5 to a 7. Enough for me to give it a positive score, but there are some things that I feel could be improved, and I absolutely would like to see them improve for a sequel. I would like a sequel, though. I thought the story was kind of neat. With the whole, uh, with it branch suddenly becoming a whole, I mean, I guess what else are you going to do with the whole black hole thing, but with it be kind of kind of being a, a multiverse sort of situation? Where it's ultimately, I guess, maybe even every time I die, it's a new version of me. Potentially, and that's what the breaches are supposed to, meant to symbolize, and that's why I can fight my ghost. Like some sort of actual remnant of my previous self and not necessarily me at that moment. Oh, I thought it was pretty great. 
Oh, you guys were on Kickstarter. Cool. Thanks, guys. Thanks for making this game possible. Thanks to all of you. Obviously, I'm not going to bother trying to read all these names because that's a freaking lot, but give credit where credit is due. You made Hellpoint possible. And I appreciate it because I had a great time. Anyway, probably good enough time to call the credits here. I don't think there's any more past this, is there? I can't make the credits go any faster. All I can do is skip them. We skip. Alright, well then, that has been Hellpoint. Start to finish, 100%. Thank you for joining me on this adventure. I will be getting something begin something new tomorrow. I'm not entirely certain what yet, but I have a pretty vast library to go through, so I'll find something, I'm sure. Thanks for sticking around.